And I'm recording. Well, this little guy here is a was a shark vacuum cleaner. It was sitting out in the trash, and I determined, among other things, that somebody had lobbed off the original power cord. So obviously, it wasn't going to be functional, and uh, it was also very, very dirty. Uh, I think whoever owned it. I uh, didn't realize that there was some certain basic maintenance you need to do, like clean the, the dirt cup and rinse out the vortex chamber every now and then. Anyway, I did all of that. Uh, cleaned uh, the black filters that are down here above the, the vacuum motor. Actually, they're white filters, but they were black when I got to them. And uh, in general, I cleaned it up. And when I saw this lying by the trash, what I thought it would, would, would serve would be a, a, a a dust collection unit for uh, the CNC machine here at the diode. And uh, right now I have a cheater cord. This is just a temporary uh, arrangement. I'll attach a more permanent cord later. But I wanted to see how it might perform with some actual real sawdust. And uh, that's why I'm here today, and that's why you're watching this video. Let me put this down. And of course, standard disclaimer, uh, any Reproduction or rebroadcast of this teleplay without express written consent of the commissioner is prohibited. All right, well, there's all sorts of other stuff up here that you probably don't want to suck up in the back. But there's a lot of sawdust. All right. Now, when I turn this on, there's no base. I mean, originally, this unit was attached to a floor uh, sweeping uh, base. And I've taken that off. Clearly, if we're going to be using it to suck up sawdust, we don't need that. Um, the switch is up over here. There are three positions switch on the switch. One turns on the vacuum motor, and then one to turn, would turn on the motorized floor attachment, which is obviously not attached. The one thing I will note as soon as I turn it on, the torque from the motor, because this doesn't really have a solid base, will cause this to pivot. So I'm going to hold on to it when I turn it on and keep this thing from pivoting off its precarious perch here. Here we go. take a look and see if maybe by eliminating one or, or, or more, uh, three filters, if I eliminate one, it might improve performance. Um, I'm also going to take a look at this vortex chamber. Now this was incredibly dirty and incredibly difficult to dismantle, and I could only really partially clean it. 
and it may also be affecting the uh, vacuuming power of, of the vacuum. I'll, I'll need to look into that. Uh, aside from that, I mean, nothing, it's a little warm here at the exhaust front, but otherwise seems to be, uh, seems to be all right. It's, again, not stellar, um, but I think it's worthy of uh, further investigation. I will do that and uh, post the results later. That's all.